Police officers in the U.S. state of Nevada allegedly brutally assaulted a mentally ill man after breaking into his house. 28-year-old Zachary McKim has the IQ of a two-year-old child and lives with his mother, Judy. The incident happened after a neighbor called police about a domestic disturbance inside the house. According to his mother, he had a fit of anger, which is usual for his condition. She also says she tried to stop officers by telling them her son had a mental illness. Zachary was taken to hospital and kept there for two days. The police came. They just charged in my house. They went to Zach's room. I was yelling, he's autistic, and then they climbed on the bed. There was three officers on the bed with my son. My angle, I only saw one officer with Sorry. his knee on my son's chest, on the upper chest, shouting at him with his arm cocked back, and I could not see what he was reaching for, but it terrified me. They knew that an autistic person lived here, and yet they had no sensitivity they charged in my house and assaulted my son in his own little bed with a diaper on and a pacifier in his mouth. The local police department's reports on the incident doesn't mention that officers touched Zachary. It also states that local policemen don't wear body cameras. According to a police spokesperson, the family hasn't filed a complaint. Back to our breaking news story now. Islamic State has claimed responsibility for a suicide blast in the northeastern Syrian city of Hasaka, which is predominantly controlled by Kurdish forces. Coordinated explosions also rocked the cities of Tartus, Damascus and Homs. In total, at least 40 civilians were killed. That's according to local media reports. Twin blasts reportedly hit the entrance to the northwestern city of Tartus, which houses a Russian naval base. There was also an explosion at a checkpoint in the capital, Damascus. In the western city of Homs, the blast apparently hit a residential area, killing at least two. And in Hasaka, an attacker detonated his motorcycle at a roundabout. We'll bring you more as details come in. Up next on RT International, Sophie Shevard Nazi discusses the fight against the Taliban with a former chief of Pakistan's intelligence service. That's in Sophie and Co.